just some general things that, that uh, I, I might like to suggest that would be universally helpful, particularly if we're looking at Treasure State Endowment programs. We understand some, uh, some of the money may flow through that program, community development block grant, other existing programs, particularly those that require a local match. If that local match could be offset, that would certainly provide a great deal of assistance to uh, the local entities either to actually help them uh, uh, get the projects underway and done or free up those dollars that they could use locally then for other projects. Uh, some relief from the indirect cost recovery program that if those federal dollars flowing through the, the state uh, were exempt from that 14 to 15 percent indirect cost recovery offset there again, the same thing applies, is that frees up uh, local dollars to either help get a project underway and going or to use for other purposes. Um, you will have, uh, I believe it's this afternoon or tomorrow, there is a bill that has been introduced uh, to create a uh, committee to oversee the stimulus. Uh, a suggestion that I would like to make is that uh, local governments be represented on that committee. First is to finish our uh, video conferencing uh, system. As some of you know, we have video conferencing capabilities in the courthouses uh, throughout the state, and it includes uh, uh, the prisons, the uh, facilities at Warm Springs, and other uh, related facilities. And, and the reason this is a significant uh, project is it saves a substantial amount of money, particularly in, in rural areas, uh, if uh, witnesses can testify by video conferencing, if uh, uh, short court hearings, arraignments, those kinds of things can be done by video conferencing. You save a lot of money in terms of transportation, travel, uh, use of court's time. We have currently, I think there are 34 uh, counties that have set up uh, but we have another 22, particularly in rural communities, that we'd like to finish the project in. Uh, it's about a $900,000 request, uh, and it will, uh, it's, it's ready to go. We've been uh, working on this project for some years, so we could use this um, funding to finish this project. It would be uh, a good service for all the Montanans. The second area is what we call our court health program. Uh, given the economy and the economic conditions, uh, we anticipate we'll see more and more people uh, in the court system, particularly on the civil side, uh, and they'll be trying to access the court system without the use of attorneys. Uh, one of the things that I'm concerned about personally is that our system, our legal system, has gotten so incredibly complex that uh, it's very difficult for ordinary citizens, people, small business people, Department of Ranchers, um, to, to access the system even for simple and routine matters such as name changes and uh, uh, simple divorces, simple things such as that. 